Welcome back, everyone. Our first guest on the show today is Valerie Lane and Crystal Lentelli, Lentelli of The Mill Summit. Welcome, mm -hmm. ladies. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Yes. So before we dive into what is The Mill Summit, I'd love to give the audience an opportunity to get to know the both of you. So I'll start with you, Valerie. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. Hi, I am Valerie Lane. Thanks mm -hmm. so much for having us um, on the show this morning. I've um, been involved with the Mill Summit for the past few years. Mm -hmm. um, Delaware born and raised. There okay. you go. Okay. It's a great, you uh, check right there. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I um, went to high school at Cab Calloway. If you're okay. from Delaware, you always got to say where you went to high school, That's right? Look at her, look at her. Look at so her, the floor, the floor director. Like, yes, yeah, yeah, me right too. I went there. <laughs> Great. Um, yeah, I was a dancer growing up and uh, loved getting into marketing in my career um, as I got older and um, just, you know, love Delaware, love nice. the state, love Wilmington, and love getting involved in the Mill Summit. So, okay, so um, she checked a lot of boxes. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Valerie. Or Crystal, please. Tell yeah, us I'm Crystal about yourself. Lentelli. Again, thank you for having me Thanks today. Also, Delaware, born and raised, went to Dickinson. Okay. Nice. Okay. That is, everybody asks what high school you're from. Exactly. That's the thing. It doesn't matter. That's yeah. how you know other people are from Delaware. It's our right. community. Thing that yes, we do. But so I've true. been involved with the Mill Summit for the past four years. Right. Um, had the honor of going to the very first Mill Summit, fell in love with it, and got the opportunity to be on the planning committee and haven't stopped. Um, nice. It's a great event. Um, Excellent. I've, God, I don't know. I do all kinds of different things. Um, I love being involved in the community, um, sports advocate, love playing volleyball any chance that I get to, spending time with friends and family, and just checking new things out in the city as they come up and about and just supporting local businesses when I can. Nice, nice. Excellent, excellent. So, so what is, for people that they are not too familiar with it, what is the Mill Summit? Yeah, what is the Mill Summit? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is, it's just a big party. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the Mill Summit's a three-day conference for young professionals uh, held annually here in Wilmington, Delaware. This is our sixth annual Mill Summit this wow. year. Nice. I know. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, very exciting. It's, it's not only the conference, it's really a community of young professionals um, that gather year-round to plan, as Crystal mentioned, being part of the planning committee. Mm -hmm. um, we really take the month of August after the summit off, and then September, October, we're right back to planning the summit for next year. So it's a great way to network with young professionals throughout the year, and then the actual event is a fantastic party of sorts to hear <laughs> from a diverse array of speakers yeah. and meet new people, um, possibly make new career connections, um, get involved, and hopefully spur impact in the community. Yeah, awesome. it's a really great event. There's nothing else like it where you can get in touch with all levels of professionals. People mm -hmm. just starting the career to seasoned professionals, CEOs, founders of businesses. Mm -hmm. It's a chance to get inspired, really feel like there's so much more you can do, you know, to affect the community. But it's it's professionals of all different industries that you normally wouldn't have that opportunity to connect with. And this environment does that, yeah. you know. And it's just a really great creative, collaborative mm -hmm. event. Mm -hmm. And everybody's kind of there for really just positive reason, you know. They're excited yeah. about Wilmington, what they can do to make changes, connect with people, grow their careers, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. make new friends along the way. I, I love the speakers. Who, who's speaking this this year? Yeah. She ready. Yeah. She ready. Yeah. We got some good ones. We got some really fantastic <laughs> speakers this year. So um, some of our keynotes include local spoken word poet Denise Froman, mm -hmm. um, who speaks out of Philadelphia. We have uh, nationally known Lily Zhang speaking on diversity and inclusion. Nice. They're actually live streaming in from California, which will be really exciting. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Capital One for making that happen for us. Mm -hmm. um, we have Terry Trespicio, mm -hmm. who is a comedian and an author based yep. out of New York City. She's going to tell us how to unfollow our passions, oh. which is kind of oh. cool. You can't wait. Right? It'll be neat. <laughs> Um, we have um, Major Michelle Rogers um, from Dover Air Force Base. She is a total boss lady, yeah. and she's going to be sharing us all sorts of tips from her career um, in the military. Mm -hmm. We have Layla Zaydan, who's CEO of the Millennial Action Project. She's actually speaking at our dinner um, that we'll be holding on Wednesday night. Um, and then finally, on Thursday, to close this out, we have some, uh, we have Delaware favorite Eugene Young. Oh, yeah. Eugene, yeah. right? I was thinking in my head, I'm like, wait, Eugene, Eugene is in here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. 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 Eugene's got to be there, yeah. yeah. And then um, we actually have Michael Smith from uh, AmeriCorps. He's the head of AmeriCorps closing nice. out the summit. Um, he's going to be a really cool speaker, has a really neat background. You have so many uh, speakers mm. joining you. That's really awesome. So you're able yes. to tap into every single audience and really 
capture everyone's attention, which I think it's nice. It seems like it's a very diverse oh, group awesome. of yeah. speakers. Now, I've never heard of the Mills Summit, mm -hmm. so I'm so glad that you have, you know, we have you on the show because I love networking events. Mm -hmm. I think I grew up going to networking events, and then once the once I started into the I opened up my own restaurant, it was a little bit harder for me to disconnect, but I still am a firm believer mm -hmm. of attending network and networking events mm -hmm. because yeah. it's healthy and also you never know who you will right. meet right. and yeah. what Absolutely. door will open up. It's so true. Right? And, and it seems like this is a two day event. Three or days. Three, three days. days. Three yes. days. Three days. Three day event. And we'll now. Bring your walking shoes. Okay. <laughs> well, to clarify, the first day is all virtual. Right. And the okay. next two are hybrid. So you have the option to attend in person live at the Queen. Okay. Or they'll be streaming and you can attend from your home or anywhere around the world. It yeah. helps us broaden our um, audience and not yes. just Wilmington based people. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's smart. I really do. That you're able to invite others that heard about the event or are interested in, in attending. Or maybe they just can't attend this year, but they want mm -hmm. to support exactly. from mm -hmm. afar. So I think that's really. Um, awesome of you that you were able to pivot and offer it virtually. Now, is this the first time you're offering the first day of vir virtually, or you've done this before? So the pandemic pushed us to go virtual. This is last year we had a test run of a hybrid mm -hmm. event. So this year, you know, as a committee was talking, we we're like, how can we make the best of the current scenario? Because not everybody is comfortable being back in person, even yes, though you know yes. the world is starting to get there. So we thought, okay, we'll start the day off, let everybody have a chance to you know, tap in virtually right. and see what we have to offer. Right. And if they're willing and able and in the area, let's bring them in, you know, right, so we can see right. people again and have that interaction and networking that we've been missing for so long. Yeah. Right. The dinner, the leaders in action dinner. Yeah. Tacos and tequila night. Uh, see, I told you the party, the party was gonna start. Seems like a party <laughs> host and a networking event, right? Uh, tell us about that. So I can tell you about the food. <laughs> uh, food for thought is we're doing tacos and tequila. And that came about because we were trying to think of something different. Everyone you know, something like different. every year, we, we don't want to be like any other conference. You know, there's right. plenty of business dinners you go to and you have that, you know, surf and turf dinner. We're like, what would be fun to bring right. people to come? And also, what would attract people to come to the dinner who can't make it to them at that day because they have work. Right. Um, so we thought, you know, who doesn't love tacos and tequila? You know, there good you margarita go. at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chicken tacos and down. Exactly. <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> now, now, you said the event is held at the Queen. Yes. Uh, yes. Virtually the first day and the next two days still at the Queen. Mm -hmm. Now, you are, it's tacos, the taco and tequila theme all three days. No. Oh my goodness. Okay. We no. wish. Yeah. We wish. In my dreams. <laughs> yeah, right? No. I don't know if everyone's going to be paying attention by the third day. Exactly. No. They'll, be, they'll be supporting each other. <laughs> The theme for the conference is how to be a top performing young professional in 2022. Okay. Um, so everything has obviously changed dramatically over the last two and a half years. Yes. And we found that what was working in 2019 in terms of tips and tricks and mm -hmm. advice just wasn't holding up yes. because so our true. world has really changed. So um, we will really want to guide our audience through how to be that top performing young professional, level up in their life, in their career. Um, the Emerging Leaders Dinner will award our um, 2022 Impact Awardees and will also be recognizing Impact Awardees from the last two years mm -hmm. um, in person as well. And we'll hear from keynote Layla Zaydan that evening. Um, as well. I do want to shout out DJ Amaze because he'll oh, be oh, with us. Yes. Oh, you got, oh my God. Yeah, yeah Dave. We, yo, we, we know him. I know him. Yeah. We know him. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right. DJ Amaze. Okay, give him he'll a shout out. He'll be with us for uh, Wednesday and Thursday yes. at the Queen. Really um, yep. <laughs> <laughs> you guys really need to come. The music will be really good. It will too. be really good. Yeah. Yes. He throws a party. Yeah. He does. Right. He does. He throws a party. So he, he um, will be there, right? He will be there in person. Yeah. I know. He will be there. Be, um, Dave, is, Dave is awesome. Dave Not is. only is he a talented uh, disc jockey, but he's also just an overall awesome person, great, guy, great yeah. business person. Yes. I mean, I've mm -hmm. known him since I was in college, mm -hmm. and I love to see that he's still staying relevant, still pushing forward, and I love that he's going to be there. Oh, what a treat. Yeah. We're oh, excited yeah. to have him. He's really going to help yes. with that vibe. Yeah, yeah. He is. Especially yeah. the Tacos and Tuesday yeah. vibe. Okay, <laughs> where can people get tickets? Or, or Wait a minute, you have, you're offering a discount, right? We, tickets are still on sale. Mm -hmm. um, there was a summer promo that we did a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. The in-person tickets are going to sell out yep. probably today. So if you want an in-person ticket, now is the no, time to do so. Okay. Millsummit.com, okay. mm -hmm. M-I-L-L-S-U-M-M-I-T.com. Um, but virtual tickets are gonna be on sale. So if you can't make it to Wilmington mm -hmm. or you just wanna wear sweatpants for the whole conference <laughs> from your couch, you could buy a virtual ticket and okay. enjoy the whole thing. I, I love there. how she did that. <laughs> You, just you don't want to dress up, you just want to wear sweatpants. Yeah. Yeah. But there's no excuse, support the event. Right. right. Exactly. Right. Yes. You never know what you will learn. And I, with that list 
of keynote speakers that yeah. you have. I mean, that's... Mm. It's incredible. Yes, yeah. incredible, yes. for sure, for sure. Yeah. I do have a question. You mentioned this earlier. You said about what ways the, our thought process of how things were in 2019 and mm. how we had to change and evolve to present day. I mean, would you be able to touch on that a little bit more and what changes or something, just to give us a little tidbit or taste of what we could expect at the Mill Summit, but you mentioned that and I thought that was really mm -hmm. important. Yeah, I think there was a lot of um, a lot of hustle culture in 2019. A lot of um, you know everyone's got to have a side business and a career and be a parent and also volunteer on four boards and make these incredible charcuterie boards for Super Bowl weekend and right like there's all these expectations and a lot of those have just been kind of undone and let go. So we wanted our topics to reflect that. Um, we talked about goal setting earlier on in the show. We have a specific session dedicated to how to set goals Perfect. for the rest of the year um, that are reasonable, right? Right. Like pick one goal and try right. to achieve it before the end of the year. Um, I mean, Terry's keynote on following your passion, that speaks directly to people kind of dialing it back and rethinking, what do I want out of my career? What do I want out of my life? How do I um, you know, have passions but not try and make my career my passion? Not everybody can be Ivan and love their work so much, right? Not, <laughs> we're not all so lucky. The hustle yeah. mentality will never go away. <laughs> exactly. And I love it. Don't ever stop. Exactly. Hold that camera. Keep working. Keep working. <laughs> We're not done yet. <laughs> I feel like a big thing is a lot of people during the pandemic, you know, started look like introspectively at themselves. So like, mm -hmm. are they happy where they're at? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, do they enjoy what they're doing? What's important to them? They kind of got refocused on what mattered. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she mentioned, you know, we're showing those different ways of how to unfollow your passion. But we also have keynotes talk talking about blooming where you're planting. You know, not everybody wants to leave the career they're in, but they want to figure out how to make the most of where they're at. Right. Um, right. So we have topics and keynotes speaking to that as well. It's just a lot of really good content. You nice. know, it, it, I'm excited. I'm you're excited. excited. I'm waiting for Taco too. I'll be right here. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, community camera, go ahead. You got, you got 30 seconds to pitch the Mill Summit. Oh, boy. Yep. Ready? <laughs> All right. Go. Okay. <laughs> well, the Mill Summit is an incredible uh, three-day event for young professionals happening here in Wilmington, Delaware and virtually hosted by Blake the Brain Saunders, local personality. We love Blake so much. Um, he'll be guiding us through all three days. We'll have the beat drops from DJ Amaze, an incredible lineup of speakers and get your tickets at millsummit.com today. And thank you to our sponsors. We couldn't do this without you. And if you're interested in joining the planning committee and being part of this great event, Reach out, millsummit.com. Excellent. I love it. I love it. Are you going? I, I, I hope I can I attend. Well, no excuse. I will attend. There you go. Right? There no you excuses. Go. Okay. No excuses. There you go. You just set one I, goal. At least I, make that dinner, exactly. right? <laughs> <laughs> and I love that you touched on that because I'm, I'm a still a firm believer in goal setting. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that that will never go you know, out of, right, out of right, style because right. I think it's very rewarding to set a goal, work hard for it, and then achieve it. Mm -hmm. That feeling of achieving goals is so rewarding, mm -hmm. what it does to your mental state. Yeah. I mean, you, can, you can't put a price tag on that. No. So I, no. I, I'm happy to hear that goal setting is still very, very important. Yeah. And, and you know yeah. what, I forgot to ask this question because you know, it's, always, it's always about impact when you're doing something for the community. Mm -hmm. sure. right? What do you want people to take away, the young professionals to take away from the Mill Summit? It's like on, on Friday, you want them to wake up and say what? I, I can really do something, you know, I can affect change, I can find something I'm passionate about, go out into that community, connect with these people that I just met, mm -hmm. and make it happen. Mm -hmm. right, right. Like, really make it happen, because we just introduced you to the people that can help you get there, yeah. gave you the tools that you need to do it, mm. and we just set you out. Right. Damn. Right. I know she's good, right? Put that right on the door. Yeah. Yeah. The, Damn. the tools and the resources, now yeah. it's your, your, your job to just run with it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, always, I always like to say, if we're, as someone that you know is helping others, I, I'm a firm believer in mentorship, mm -hmm. and I love to mentor mm -hmm. um, many individuals, especially young women in the pageant community. Mm -hmm. And I always is express to them that I will give you the tools and resources to shine, mm -hmm. but it's up to you at the end of the, at the end of the day to really utilize those tools mm -hmm. and resources and take advantage of it and really progress to the next level. Yeah. But you're offering that at the Mill Summit, so it's a no-brainer. Yeah. No-brainer. Yeah, yeah no-brainer right. to attend. So I'll I'm be there. Say, yes. Be the whole there. crew will be there or just you? I, I, I think the whole crew. We have all millennials are all rocking right. with us. They're so. probably like, I hope Let's Ivan go. takes me. No, no, we, 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 I guess we're going. All right, yeah. Yeah. No, they're like, yeah, we're going. <laughs> uh, thank, you, thank you so much for coming. Really appreciate thank you. Thank you so much for having right. me. Thank you. you. Got it. Hashtag Mill Summit. Make sure you check them out. What's up?
up, everyone? It's your main man, Big Ivan, the talk of the town, Mr. DETVCH.com, and I'm here with my wonderful and amazing co-host, Vincenza. <laughs> we just stopped by to tell you to be sure, if you want any information on what's going on in Wilmington and to meet some dynamic people doing some amazing and great things, be sure to watch us live on Good Morning Wilmington on Mondays and Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Oh, Ivan, 10 a.m. Which he said, <laughs> 10 a.m. Listen to me. That's why he has me here. But yes, tune in live 10 a.m. Monday and Wednesday on Good Morning Wilmington. DETVCH.com.